All right, guys, and welcome back to the server. Ah. <laughs> I thought I'd bring you in to see this one. This is the new design, destroying the old design, which I effed up. Because I haven't really played with grinders and welders much, especially on ships. And on the small ships, they need the big block, but the parts I'm grinding here don't go through the small conveyors. Which was, this was a convert of a ship. And yeah, it hadn't worked out, so grindy grindy. <laughs> But the plan today is to get the turtle to Mars. Ooh, easy. So, let's get into it. This is the little grinder ship. I think it's pretty cool. It does a good job. It does. I think it's the atmospheric ones that aren't as efficient. They use the large ones, the small ones, but the large ones look cool. Especially when you get them in the middle. I think that's a really cool design. <laughs> I like that. One thing I do want to show you though is the projector highlighter. I'm not entirely sure when that one came out, but what a cool mod. <laughs> Turn it on and it shows you the blocks that you haven't built. Or are slightly damaged. As long as the grid has a projector on it. Yeah, I've missed quite a few in here. <laughs> but it's going to be an absolute... Godsend for building stuff like this off blueprints because these small grid ships are a nightmare. I'm pretty sure this is next for the scrap heap, but it's cool, so maybe not. It might survive. <laughs> We've got the speeds turned up on this server. The small ships can do 250, the large grids 125, which is nice, but still not very ridiculously fast. The problem I'm having with the small ships is no jump drives. <coughs> yeah. But anyway, today's plan, and I'm not sure if it's a good one anymore. <laughs> the turtle, this creation, finally got completed. Changed up a bit, she's got a jump drive. But the original plan was to stick it on an asteroid. And then I thought about maybe going to the moon. Well, I've been to the moon, can't really find anywhere flat. And it's... I don't know. I should... We should probably go to the moon first, that's what I've been. I've seen, uh, I accidentally went to Titan, or Triton. <laughs> I've got a base over on Triton. So, yeah, I don't need the turtle for that anymore. So the next one is Mars. Is it not Mars? I'm not sure, we'll find out when we get up there. But, yeah. Do I go with the turtle, or do I go scout with me all there? That would probably be a better idea. I have to somehow... Hmm. You know, the hog might actually be a good idea to go and scout with. It's hydrogen, isn't it? Yes. You know, that might be a really good idea to go scout with. Hmm. Because we can get the turtle in atmosphere, scout out somewhere with the hog, then go bring the turtle up. Or down, rather. You know what, there may be a use for this little ship after all then. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, yeah, first of all, we'll turn it on. That always helps. Yeah, she's good. Batteries, auto. Tanks, off. That's for stockpiling. Thrusters, on. Very useful. Don't need that. Don't need... Really? Are all the blocks done on this thing? Huh. Must be. Turn that off. Uh, yeah, we're looking pretty good. Awesome. Unlocked. What did I do? I've missed something, haven't I? Oh, they're off. <laughs> they were on. Oops. Good thing it wasn't in the air. There we go. Now we're at one. Are we clear? Yes, we are. Awesome. It is a cool little ship, but... <laughs> it's very Millennium Falcon sort of inspired this one. <laughs> uh, it's, it's ends of actually giving the idea of doing the offset cockpit. I think it is kind of cool, I like it. Where's the landing gear? Oh, everywhere. <laughs> if it didn't have the offset cockpit, it would land nicely in there. Ah. Uh, scuppered myself. Or oh, will she fit? Oh, it might just fit, you know. Maybe. She may just fit. 
Ah, look at that. She's going to be fine. And I need to knock them off sharpish so we'll dig a hole through the roof. Right, so if we knock the dampens off. Do you leave it turned on? Is that the better way? I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, so we have a scout and a way to get back home. Sadly, no jump drive on the thing. I wonder if you could connect a jump drive to it with the connector. Just drag it around like as a module. That'd be interesting. Hmm. I'll worry about that another day, though. Right, so first things first. Does this have autopilot on that? But it doesn't. It doesn't have much hydrogen either. Well, I didn't think that through, did I? <laughs> uh, inventory and LCD, so that would be a no for the autopilot. Because why would it need it? because it's... Ah. Well, I need to get some hydrogen in it, but I can do that easy enough using the transport. <laughs> It'll take a few loads, but we'll get there. And the reason why I'm thinking it's maybe not a good idea putting it on Mars is because I have been annihilated by lightning. <laughs> I've got me on it. This is going to be Excalibur. Uh, the back end here was gone when I logged in today. And... Um, me only took a hit earlier on. Today has not been a good day. All this back corner was gone. The lightning's been pretty abusive right now. Great stuff. No, I should have gone underground. <laughs> Just make a drilling wall and bore into a hill. And I'll just do a few shunts with that one and that'll get me in. <laughs> Yeah, putting this out in the open on Mars, is this going to be a good idea? Or am I going to live to regret this? Hmm. Could make a giant drilling wall for that, couldn't I? And just sink it. I mean, how high are we? One, two, three, four, five. We're only five high. Oh, it needs to be on the back side there, wouldn't it? Because I've got the hangers at the front. Just bore into a mountain. Goodbye, world. <laughs> Bring me all there. Hmm. Anyway, I will get this filled up, then we'll get up there and we'll see where we're at. Back soon. Dorsed. We've filled her up. 38% left in this, so the turtle is ready to go. I will use the autopilot to put this back into its thing. As soon as she docks, I can press stop. Good little ship. <laughs> Come on. A little bit more. There we go. Nice one. So hit stop. That should end that little reign of terror. Yep, disabled. Job's good. Right, you stay there. Hmm, darkness. Cool. Does that mean... That looks a lot like Mars. <laughs> now that's Triton. <laughs> Mistakes were made. <laughs> Don't have a minor. I wonder if... Uh, that could make life real interesting when the time comes. All I need is something small like that. It should be easy enough to put together. Should be. <laughs> You know, as long as this gets docked, it needs to become a thing then. Do we have anything on board? We shouldn't have. Unless I've been stupid. Oh, I've been stupid. Oh, will this even fly? She's got loads of bits on board. I did something wrong, didn't I? Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Moment of truth, I suppose. Will she go? She's turned on, so that's a good start. Uh, they're off. They're off. They're off. What's number two? Oh, oh two gens. Yep, they're off. Refineries, they're off, because we don't need them running while we're flying. What's number five? Oh, the programmable blocks. What's only inventory and LCDs on board? Do I need them running while I'm flying? Probably not. Goodbye. <laughs>
Right, so we can turn those on. Where's the tanks? There's the tanks. They need to be off. They need to be doing something. They're already off. Right then, moment of truth. Will she fly? If she doesn't, this is going to be a real short trip. <laughs> There we go. It's just getting all the legs off. <laughs> Aha! She's running though. I don't have cruise control on here, do I? Oh, this is <laughs> rough. But we're on. Why they're still turning, I don't know. Unless they are just slowing down. They might be slowing down. Yep, there we go. This will probably duck them down for this trip. But it's alive. That is looking very Martian. It's even got the moon as well. The moon Europa on Mars? I think so. We need to break atmosphere. Get over to Mars then. Let's see how that goes. So I accidentally went to try it and I was looking for the moon. You can't see the moon. The moon is... There's the GPS for the moon. There. <laughs> The moon is straight on the other side of Earth. I didn't see the moon until I got to try it and look back. Yeah, mistakes were made. <laughs> the good thing about the moon though is it's got nice platinum deposits. Every little helps and all that. So this is going to take a long time to get back without a jump drive, so it may be I make a little transport up just with the jump drive to fly back. Something similar to what the uh, hydrogen transport is, but with a jump drive slapped on it. You know? Nothing pretty, but functional. It's got to be functional. <laughs> yeah, well, this has got four tanks on it and they're all full, so we should be able to break atmosphere. Cruise control would have really helped. It just makes everything more efficient, doesn't it? I mean, we're down. We've used 4% out of, what, 60 million? So we've probably chewed through a million by now then, haven't we? Six mil? We might have gone through six mil already? My percentage is no good mental. <laughs> Look at that, I was a pin in the butt. I'll, I'll get there. At least she takes off. That means she can hover, catch her breath. This is good. So, we're 18. We're halfway there, aren't we? Halfway. Any dangerous looking asteroids in the way? Possibly. Ah, that's the alien planet. So, where's the other one now? We're still missing a rock. Found it. <laughs> it Triton's the frostbite world. Who's that then? Titan. That would be Titan, wouldn't it? I think that's, is that an ice planet, Titan? Or is that Europa? I don't know. We'll find out when we get there. I am going to grab a spot on Mars, though, in between the moon and the planet. I'll try to... It looks from here like there might be a South Pole somewhat on the moon side as well. That's cool. It'll make life a bit easier. Put autopilot on here and I just set it to go to the Earth orbit. That would have been handy. <laughs> oh well, 19 kilometres away. It's just out of atmosphere. Well, out of gravity rather. So from that point we can jump. So, I'll take a pause in here then guys and bring you back when we arrive. Made it. Well, kind of. I think we've overshot it. It's there. <laughs> so, this is where we're going to head to. So if I point this at it, turn it in for that side. 100%. Oh, I guess we're not quite going to get all the way there. <laughs> but this is a long way off. Coming back with just the little ship is probably not going to be a good idea.
Okay, where'd he go? <laughs> where have we just jump? Oh, there he is. Is that actually the moon then? The moon looks like it has a moon. Oh, that was uh, kind of cool though. Earth's looking pretty small. Triton's looking pretty small. What else have we got kicking around? Alien planet. That's got a, has a moon? That uh, seems to have a moon. So where's the other one gone then? I have no idea. <laughs> I look pretty small from Earth anyway, so I guess I've come the wrong way for that planet. I am not seeing it. I'm sure that's Europa. Right, how long is this going to set to charge? Just a minute or two. We've only got an hour's beans left. Uh, I better put the reactors back on just to make sure I don't. Five hours. Wow. Okay. I did fit cruise control though. Since slot three and four now. Just for getting down. Shouldn't be a problem, but I'd rather not run out. It is looking like Mars does have a pole, and it is on the moon side though, which is very, very nice. Haha! <laughs> oh, we've got to recharge and do another jump back soon <laughs> so we're prepared ish <laughs> right my plan is to try and get down the side if I aim it around about there is that gonna good nice one so drop this down a bit Thinking we're a lot closer than what I think we are. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, we're a lot closer. <laughs> ah, now we're in business. Okay. So if we go back up. Oh wow! So we're bang on there then. That's going to hit the planet. That is going to hit the planet. Yeah, that is going to hit. So if I then send it to there, you know, just to the side, how's this going to work? Are we going to overshoot now or you're right above the pole? You know, living the dream. That would be perfect. <laughs> no, didn't work. Right as well as I'd hoped. <laughs> We're not bad, we're not bad. Nope, nope, that is not going to work. That's what I'm after. Square is... Yeah, that's definitely an icy rock. Cool. Europa is definitely on my hit list. That's not. Not with this ship. <laughs> I need to do another little jump to be honest, just to get above that pole. I need ice in my life, <laughs> just because I've got hydrogen chips. Uh, are you on? No, you're not. You are now. Juice me. I'll probably just use a damp trick in this particular situation, but. We're not looking too bad. We're in the right spot for Europa at least. But I can't go down here, I need to be in the ice. Does that sound like something's banging around in there? It sounds like the refineries are running. But they shouldn't be. There's always something. <laughs> right, 99%, okay. I do not need to be jumping that far. Check this down. What do we think? 40k? Could be. Oh, we're actually in gravity. Ha! Uh, yep.
Mars is sucking me in. <laughs> I think I am. <laughs> hmm. Are we out here? Nope. Come on, Mars, release me. <laughs> Sneaky little rock. Mars then. But it's 41 for Earth. 41, 42. There we go. 39. Okay, we're free. Right, I need to uh, knock that off. So will it let me jump to there? and see where that puts us. That's better. Perfect. Now I need to find out where the gravity is. <laughs> oh, down we go. It so we can stop. I want this orbit GPS to be just outside of gravity. Kind of looks like I'm going down at a daft angle now, doesn't it? Hmm. But I'm okay with being on the edge of the ice. I just need to ice. Wicked blue tint, hasn't it? Going around. That's cool. Oh, we're in gravity. Awesome. So let's push back up again then and find that just outside point. It's 39, wasn't it? There we go. Sorry. I'll slap it in here then, haven't we? GPS. Mars. Orbit. actually fairly confident we can probably pull this off without having to worry about using the hog. That can be scrapped and turned into a miner. I'm, pretty, I'm feeling pretty good about this. Right, get down to the surface, see what we can find. There's a romp, looking pretty good. So we can break pretty well then. We're going to be fine. It doesn't like the planet's rendered in right, does it? It looks off. <laughs> oh, that is a cool atmosphere though. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm not sure I quite like this ice. It looks weird. Just keep flipping this so that's gonna get us nice and low. We can probably put it down here. This looks pretty flat, <laughs> in fairness. Just have to be careful I don't slam into it. Yeah, I'd say it's pretty flat though. Okay. Really flat. Well this is bizarre. We've got a bit of a drift problem though, having the hog on there. Oh, there we 
shadow. This is this point you can probably get away with you. Oh we're on vertical. Might as well use vertical now. You know? So fly a little bit. Coming down at eight. This is a weird surface. <laughs> awesome. The auto lock is enabled. This would be great for a rover, wouldn't it? How smooth it is. And coming in, coming in, coming in, knock that off. And just handle the rest of it by ourselves. <laughs> that is so cool. Uh, probably should knock them off actually. And just let her drift down on the hog problem. And there we go. We're down. <laughs> Lock it in. Welcome to Mars. And that is probably the weirdest view. I could have ever imagined that is strange as hell look at that that is cool <laughs> that's a bit nuts <laughs> but we made it wait right guys i'm gonna call this one there scrap the hog make a miner and see what i can find out there in the world because nothing's anything popping up i've got a couple of things look magnesium silicon Ice, 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 lots of ice. Ice is good. Yeah, awesome. That is a freaky view. Wow, that is, oh, that's giving me chills. <laughs> Anyways, I'll call it there. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. I've really enjoyed this one. Trouble free so far. <laughs> we will catch you next time. Laters.